So I've been playing Final Fantasy 3. Out of all Final Fantasies, this used to be the one that was the hardest to get. Now that title has gone to Type 0. Because nowadays, this game is fucking everywhere. NES, DS, iOS, PSP, it's everywhere. And now, it's been ported to the PC. This port is based on the iOS port, which is based on the DS port, which is based on an NES game from 1999. And for a game that old, it's still pretty good. Granted, this looks nothing like the NES version. They updated the graphics, the music, and even the story. The characters are now, you know, actual characters, with names and personalities. You know, instead of just a bunch of Onion Knights. Despite all that, it's still kind of a primitive RPG. The story is very minimal and it lacks a lot of the standard Final Fantasy conventions. Although it did introduce a few, things like summoning and the job system were all introduced here. But like I said, the story is a bit simple. Our main character, Luneth, quite literally stumbles into a cave where he finds a crystal. The crystal tells him to save the world and harness the power of the four elemental crystals. So he gets some people to go with him and he does as he's told. The game does have some pretty cool and creative locations. Like a cursed town where all the people became transparent. Or a giant dragon's nest. Now, in terms of the port, it's pretty much the iOS version, which is pretty much the DS version, which is a total overhaul of the NES version. It's a pretty solid port even though it still looks a bit like a stretched out DS game. The only thing I don't really like is the lack of customization. You can change the resolution and rebind the controls. Then again, looking at this game, I'm not really sure it would benefit from having an FOV slider. What I do really like is the autosave memo thing. Basically, if you quit the game, it'll remember exactly where you are, and you can restart from that exact position. It deletes when you die though, so whenever you are on the world map you still might want to save. But it does make dungeon exploring a lot easier, because now you can just quit mid-dungeon and not have to worry about redoing anything. I'm not sure if the game was made any easier the past couple of years. I would assume so because most people playing this probably didn't grow up with the Nintendo torture system. But even if they did, the game is still pretty damn hard. I mean, you actually need to grind before the first dungeon or else this happens. Grinding for your information looks like this. So yeah, it's an okay port of a great game. It runs fine and there aren't any glitches or anything like that. That said, if you already played the DS or the iOS version, you won't really find anything new here except a higher resolution. Still. I'm kinda sad it's nowhere near as good as Final Fantasy All the Bravest. Uh.